Welcome to my video on how to use CCleaner to speed up your computer. I use CCleaner in conjunction with Win Utilities Free Edition, so I thought I'd make this video to follow up my video on Win Utilities. CCleaner is a freeware system optimization, privacy and cleaning tool. It removes unused files from your system, allowing Windows to run faster and freeing up valuable hard disk space. It also cleans traces of your online activities such as your internet history. Additionally, it contains a fully featured registry cleaner. So let's begin by downloading CCleaner from the CNAC website. Wait for the download to begin. Save the file. It's not very big so it won't take very long. Open the file and press run to run the installer. Choose the language you want. I'm going to choose English. Next, I agree. I want to add the desktop shortcut, I also want to add a start menu shortcut and this is quite useful adding one cleaner option to the recycle bin context menu so that's when you right click the recycling bin and also an open C cleaner to the recycling bin menu and yes I also want to automatically check for updates to C cleaner feel free to customise that as you want install very quick and press finish press yes for that ok so I maximise this window now. So at the top of the window, it tells you um, your operating system, whether it's 32 or 64 bit. It tells you your processor type, processor speed, the amount of RAM you have, and your graphics card. The first tab is the cleaner on the left here. Now this scans for files that are left on your system by programs but they're no longer needed and can be removed to gain disk space and increase your computer's performance. So you can choose the areas that you want the program to scan by putting a tick in the checkbox right next to it like that. And there's also another tab at the top, the Applications tab, which gives you even more areas that you can select as well. So leaving it at default is fine if you don't want to select any more. When you've chosen the areas you want to scan, you can press the Analyze button down here. This doesn't take very long very fast there as you can see and um, it then tells you at the top 400 MB to be removed so it tells you how much is about to be removed from the system and it tells you the list of files it's going to remove so once you've looked at that you can press the run cleaner to begin removing them so it's just warning you that obviously these files are permanently deleted once you've pressed the OK button so OK and it starts the deleting process again very quick and when it finishes it gives you a clear window telling you how much was removed and then the details of the files again okay so the next tab is the registry this is a simple registry cleaner it's perfectly fine to have all the checkboxes ticked here so press scan for issues and it begins the process So once it's finished, you can um, tell that when it says 100% up here. When it's finished, you press Fix Selected Issues. Now it's wise to back up the changes to the registry in case anything does go wrong, and the unlikely event that that happens. You can uh, restore it to what it is now. So press the Yes button, call it whatever you want, save it wherever you want, and press Save. Okay, so once you've done that, you can either fix the each issue separately and you can read what it's doing for each separate one or you can just fix all selected issues to do them all at the same time very quickly next is the tools tab this has quite a few useful tools An uninstall manager is the first one not that different to the windows one quite useful search feature up here though you can rename entries next down is the startup so you can enable or disable what programs you want to start up with Windows. As you can see, the ones faded out are the ones that aren't enabled. I'm going to turn off the Google Update now. I know I don't need that to run the startup. So these will increase your speed, increase your startup speed especially. System Restore is the next one. You're able to select a restore point and then remove it to gain disk space. So any of those that you know you don't need, you know you, you won't need to restore back to that point again. Simply press that one you want and then the remove button. And the drive wiper, you can choose which drives to completely erase the content of. 
so you've got a checkbox on that one and press the white button and finally the this tab here is options and the first button is settings here you can change the language among other settings I wouldn't one C cleaner on startup you don't need to you need to run the program when you want it cookies you can select the cookies that you want to keep in your browser I don't find that very useful don't make use of that one myself next is the include button and here you can select additional files and folders that you want C cleaner to remove as well as the default ones in the cleaner next is exclude so same thing except the ones that you specifically don't want it to remove so both the include and the exclude you can uh, leave as is they're fine and then the advanced button for more options that you might want to change that concludes my video on how to use CCleaner to speed up your computer the link for the program is in the video description as usual please rate and comment and feel free to subscribe if you found my video useful thanks for watching